Hansworth Park, you know, this is a very important place. Listen to this, Hansworth Park history. Hansworth Park was created from the grounds of the Grove and Estate purchased for the community in 1887 and it was laid out as public pleasure grounds by local nurseryman Richard Hartland, Vertigan, Vert Egan, someone research who that man is. Grove House was soon called Park House. It probably provided facilities for the cricket ground which was included from the first the gardens were rich, richly planted and along the broad walk there was display beds featuring upwards of 10,000 young geraniums. Okay, richly enough. From 1889 to 1901, the park was gradually enlarged to its current size of 63 acres. Who owns this? Including land to the east of the railway. This time, the borough of surveyor Edwin Kenworth Kenworthy, shout out my man, someone research him as well, was in charge. Ornamentally, brick walls, piers, gates and unclimbable iron fencing were built in, 19, in 1897. The boating lake was created as well as a boating pavilion and the park lodge. Look this man, it's a really important place, I'm telling you. Look at the kids playing in the park. 1952. The Austin Lions Fountains in the early 20th century. I might have to go and take a picture of me standing at this fountain. The Sons of Rest Pavilion in 1950. Look at these men. Look what's going on. Powerful people. Image supplied by Birmingham Central Library. Let's see what this says. In the 20th century, the park was used for many events, including theatrical performances and musical celebrations. See, one day I'm going to perform here. I'm telling you, it's part of my history. Held on the bandstand, which had first appeared in the park in 1891, in the Grove. In the 1920s, the Civic Society designed a new sunken garden near the Grove Lane entrance. And in 1930, a Sons of Rest shelter was built to be enjoyed by the local retired men. Look at that. There were losses too. In 1939, as part of the war effort, the iron gates and railings were taken away. Park House survived until the early 1980s when it was replaced by the large new leisure center. Okay, and that's the leisure center up there. I see what's going on now. Okay, uh, it makes sense now. Come on, man. I have to love Answorth, man. Ricky!